Are these, are these the last, last day? Did you hear about the war oh, in Israel? Man. I heard about the rapture. Have you heard about is that? This is the beginning of world six, 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 six. Oh, no, Be I'm ready no, when I'm Jesus comes. I need some answers. Have you heard of the Revelation Answer Man? Hello, I'm Dr. D, the Revelation Answer Man and the Chancellor of Wordwise Bible College in Rancho Cucamonga, California. And I'm here to answer all your questions on the Book of Revelation, the Antichrist, and the end times in general. Why? Because I am the Revelation Answer Man. Now, these are scary times. You have questions, and I have answers. And I'm going to answer your questions today in five to seven points. Okay, let's see what our question for today is. The question is, Dr. D, is the second coming the same event as the rapture? Wow, what a powerful question. And I'm sure that many of you have that same question on your mind. But let me tell you this, that no, the rapture and the second coming are two separate events. They're different. They're separated by seven years years by seven years of time now unlike the second coming the rapture has no signs to determine when the, it's going to come the rapture is what you call imminent that means it can happen at any day any time in fact it could have happened yesterday no one knows when the rapture is going to take place however the signs that most people talk about is more associated with the second coming of Christ. Next point is that with the rapture, Christ does not return to the earth. He's going to meet the saints in the air. Remember it says that the dead in Christ are going to be resurrected first. And but the we who are alive and remain, we're going to be called up to meet them all in the air. And there we shall be with Christ forever. Now, at the second coming of Christ, he's going to bring that same group back from heaven down to earth. He's going to actually set foot on earth and establish his millennial kingdom. And it says in that Revelation chapter 1, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they which pierced him, and all the kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. Now the clouds he's coming back is not uh, the clouds that you see up in the sky. He's coming back with the clouds of heaven, which is the glorious saints and his angels, his army, and his it robed in his righteousness. It's going to be a glorious, bright, shining uh, night when Christ comes back. And so your second coming of Christ has to do with Christ coming back to establishing his millennial kingdom. But the rapture has to do with taking his church up off of the earth, taking them back and fulfilling his promise he made in John when he said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, ye may be also. Well, I just answered your question in five to seven points. And guess what? I'll see you next time. This is Dr. D, the Revelation Answer Man, saying, be blessed.